A15. I'm Nicole, and for 20 days, I have to basically make a 20 minute video that will help you promote your new business, create a side income in our weird little economy right now, and otherwise kind of show you some of your options in terms of using the internet in particular to market your business. So someone had this class about if I was going to go over video um, and live video. And so I thought I would do one about, uh, about video in general. So I just wanted to show you, I'm on my one of my Facebook pages right now. So um, if you're watching this on a different page, what you can do when you do a live video is you can cross post it to other pages that you have administrative access to. But as you see here, I just, I just had to pick, I just picked the one I was doing it from. Um, you'll notice that over the last 28 days, so I've been, we can do some math. I've been doing this for 15 days. We see that my, so I'm looking at the, um, this little kind of gray section toward the middle of the page about insights. As you see here, uh, my people reached is what eight, up 842%. My engagements are up 1,442% and I've gotten a bunch of new page likes since starting this video series. So video is a good way to basically get in front of people because, uh, and as you see here, I have the new Instagram loaded. I, by the way, whenever stuff is coming out and it's like, do you want the new thing? I always say yes right away so I can get used to it because I feel I, you know, if there's something weird, I'd like to know about it for my clients. So you might have this set up and you might not. I just agreed to do this like, I don't know, weeks ago, maybe a month ago. Um, and what you'll notice is in the new Instagram, if we look on the very top of the navigation area, one of the tabs is a watch tab. And I have it open here. Um, and basically, whenever there's posts that I follow or like or whatever, you can see, um, see basically all the new things. And I don't know why, I feel like some video, you, I don't follow Ellen De DeGeneres. Um, obviously, because it's telling me uh, to follow it, but um, but I can see notifications from the businesses that I do follow. Um, now, what you'll notice is that, well, with Ellen for a second there, I shouldn't have clicked away so quickly. So, so I have like my watch list of certain, uh, I guess, businesses that I've liked or followed or whatever. But you'll notice that a lot of the uh, larger brands do captioning on their videos, and I'll talk about that in a little bit. It doesn't have to be necessarily really complicated. I think it's just freaking out because I'm recording a live video right now. Point being, though, is that Facebook has a whole tab for lo for live video. And Instagram, as you know, has come out with um, IG Live or IGTV. Um, and so you can also stream videos live on Facebook, on Instagram, and also on YouTube. Now, obviously, to do the live video, I would... I'm looking at my Facebook page. And by the way, like Instagram and YouTube are similar. There's like a live button and this starts recording. So right now there's some people theoretically watching this live. I believe four. Um, it's hard for me to like look at this. Uh, this is where, by the way, if you're going to do this a lot, a two screen setup is really good uh, because that way you can kind of monitor on one screen and be sort of recording on the other. Um, so you can kind of wa be watching your comments and things like that. Um, but anyway, so you can basically hit the live record button and your video is going to be streaming live to your people. Now, um, with three, with Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, after the live video is over, you can choose whether you want it to be a part of a, your permanent collection or not, for lack of a better word. So with Facebook, right after I record, it says like, do you want to delete this? or something, you know, and I can click delete and it will go away after that. Now, obviously, if one of you is screen capturing the video and wants to repost it, like I can't really do much about that. But um, but there is a little bit of control with live video that way. Uh, same with Instagram. Now, what I would do if I wanted my Instagram video, my my I, my Instagram live, uh, my IGTV video to stay a part of my feed is I can add it to my I can add it to my feed and it will show a 60 second preview. Um, and then if someone, you know, wants to, they can watch the whole thing and YouTube, you know, obviously I can, you know, I get the same message, like, do you want to save this or not kind of thing. Um, and if I save it, it goes on my YouTube channel. If it, I, it goes on my Instagram uh, feed 
and it goes on my Facebook page, right? On these different platforms. Um, there are some services um, right now, Instagram is a little bit closed off, but if I wanted to, um, I, there's definitely some services that I can use either. One of them is open source, uh, that's downloaded to a computer. And some of them are like online services that would allow me to stream to Facebook and YouTube at the same time. Um, or I could stream from a zoom, you know, so if I was doing like a private group thing, I could use my zoom account and I could stream it to a private Facebook group or page and a YouTube channel uh, from Zoom. So there are services that allow you to do that. Um, Instagram, I feel like it's still a little bit more closed off. So with live video, obviously there doesn't, as you're noticing here, there is not a huge production quality necessarily needed because people understand that it's a live video. It's typically someone looking at a camera talking um, and, um, and that's fine. Something that I really want to do after is add, like I said, captions to your live video, especially if you have some important messaging in there. Um, so one thing that you can do is YouTube automatically generates captions for videos. And I can just sort of show you that. Um, I'm not saying, you know, it's obviously artificial. So it's not like one. one um, I got to fix my banner. <laughs> There's like, it's one of those things online for a while guys you're like oh yeah right i did that <laughs> need to go redo that <laughs> um so within youtube you can automatically generate captions um and then what once they're automatically generated you can fix them so um so let's say that i wanted to hold on i'm gonna i was kind of temporarily forget how to do this in different programs but if i was going to edit this I'm gonna, no, no, no. Okay. Phew. All right. So, so I have my, and I haven't tagged it or anything. Um, entertainment, standard license, caption certification, none. Okay. English by YouTube automatic subtitles. Okay. Now I can click on this. Come on, edit. I guess I have to go to Classic Studio to edit it. Maybe that's what it is. So here are my captions here um, that it automatically generated. I think are all the, yeah. So as you see, it's, um, hold on, don't actually start. It's annoying. Stop it. I don't want to actually Somebody play. makes money. As you see here. 13, I think we're on. There we go. So what I can do is I can edit these captions, kind of fix them, and so I can keep the, um, I can keep the captions that are that are in here, right? I can keep them live. Now, one thing that you know, Facebook also has automatically generated captions, but you have to um, turn them on. And honestly, they're kind of a pain in the butt. So normally, if I am taking the trouble to record a video, okay, I'm going to close this before it drives me crazy. Normally, what I do when I uh, upload a video to YouTube is I export the caption. And I, I import them into Facebook. So like that way I fix the captions once somewhere, like in YouTube, take them and put them on the exact same video on Facebook because they're the same captions. Um, if you want to um, not mess with the automated captions, or, you know, there are services that will do this for you. Um, this is a popular online one that does captions. I believe it's like, Oh, yes. So there we go. So transcription, obviously, you know, and captions, a dollar 25 a minute. Okay. It used to be a dollar a minute. So I'm glad that they're paying their people a little better. But um, so obviously, you know, if you're uploading an hour long video, you know, you're going to pay more for those captions. But um, if it's an important thing, um, it's probably important to get them right. Like I said, most people just can use the automated captions and fix them if you have more time than money. If you have more money than time, just use a transcription service. Because um, I think I was just reading somewhere that 13% of people are and 90% of video is watched with the sound off. Like people will just read the captions. Just like I was doing with Ellen a second ago, it was automatically playing and the captions were below it, right? <laughs> so it's access, it makes your video more accessible. It also makes it so that if someone is 
even if someone is not hearing impaired, they might be sitting in a room, you know, with their baby or something, trying to get their kid back to sleep. And they're like looking at their Facebook feed, watch your video and read the captions. So, um, so anyway, use captions, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So now back to our, our video options. So we have one video option that's live, right? On all the platforms. And that is good if you feel comfortable talking off the cuff, right? And if you're gonna kind of do a longer format video, uh, that, that's good. And something that you can get your customers used to, and you know, like right now, everybody knows that I go live around 7.30 in the morning. So people can get used to that schedule. So something that you can do in these services is sort of like, Build the loyal following by being available. It doesn't have to be daily. I have a friend of mine who does like a little chat like twice a week on I think Thursday, Tuesday and Thursday afternoons at noon or something with his business. So, you know, just pick a time, communicate that, and you've got you gotta give people some time to start showing up. So the first few days I was doing this, there was like one or two people live. And now it looks like there's like six or seven. So um, it takes people a while to get used to the schedule. So, you know, just commit to a time if you're gonna do live videos doesn't have to be daily. You don't have to be insane like me. Um, so the other thing is if you're not comfortable with live video, all of these platforms allow you to upload a pre-recorded video. Now with Instagram, um, the video has to be like 60 seconds long to upload, to upload as a post. Um, I believe stories have to be a little bit shorter. Um, 15 seconds, you, you can tell how, how much I do with Instagram video. Um, and, but with YouTube and Facebook, um, they can be videos that you pre-record and upload. Um, so, you know, they can be 20 minutes or whatever. Um, and you can upload them after the fact. So I would say if you're just getting into video and you're not super confident, you could try some pre-recorded video and just kind of get your confidence and, and um, how, you know, you feel like you look in the video your format, and then you can do some live stuff or you can just jump into live. I'm not telling you you can't because you totally can. Um, so as you see here, if I was going to, obviously the live video has its own button. And if I was gonna make a post instead, if I was gonna upload a pre-recorded video, I would I would click this video button. And um, obviously on, on YouTube, I would click this create button. And as you see here, that's where I upload the video or that's where I go live, depending on what I wanna do. So these two uh, locations allow for longer format videos, which can be good at first. Um, I believe uh, one of our Anchor Space members, Kendra, told me about this Oscar Wilde quote, and it's so applicable, which is, if you want me to talk for two hours, I can talk right now. If you want me to talk for five minutes, give me two weeks to prepare. I'm totally paraphrasing, but um, basically being shorter is kind of harder in a lot of ways. So it means, but I guess it means something's coming up for me in 10 minutes. I probably should go check. Anyway, um, so you can upload, like I said, a pre-recorded video and you have the same options. You can generate captions, you can, you know, write a little description and all that stuff like you normally do um, with the live video. But this way you can sort of practice pre-recording. Now, a lot of people say like, Nicole, well, what if I want to edit it a little bit? Um, First of all, you can edit it before you upload. Don't don't go crazy. You can feel, um, please get rid, part of your job as a content creator is to not bore the crap out of your audience. So if there's this part where somebody like, you know, you're interviewing and they went on this 25 minute tangent about something unrelated, please cut that out. Um, so in terms of video editing, you can use whatever you want. I like this tool a lot because it's, um, it costs money, just to warn you. Um, there is a little free trial if you want to try it out. Um, and I think it's like 90 bucks a year and you have 10 gigs worth of storage and I haven't run out of room yet and I've been using it for like three years. So um, what I like about it too is that if you have a team of people that are working on your stuff, it's an online editor. So what I do is I can go on and, and like edit the video and if I wanted to, to hand it off to someone else, I'd be able to do that because I just need to you know, give them access to it and they'd be able to, um, to edit it. And I like it because there's like separate tracks and, and stuff like that. So let me log in. There's like separate tracks and things um, that I find it's a lot easier to use than
I find iMovie just really my computer. So if I wanted to do, I'm just going to act like I'm doing a new video edit just to show you guys what the inter um, And as you see here, I can organize things in a project folders and things like that. Um, my upload folders a bit, so I can say like what format I want. So I'm just going to, I'm going to just, I don't want to save it to an existing. Do I? I'm just going to save it to this default one's called my project. <laughs> it's the one that it comes with. So as you see here, um, whatever, you don't have to use their stock media. You can find your own, you can find your own stock media. We've talked about how to do that earlier. But if I wanted to upload a video, you know, I can import a video from my computer. And if I wanted to sort of like, you know, grab some stock some footage. So like, oh, this is, there we go. So I can drag this one. Okay. There's me fixing my hair. See, like I want to cut the part where I'm like fixing my hair because that makes me look vain. And then like, maybe I have this, you know, so as you see here, I can layer clips. Now what's going to happen is whatever clip is on top is going to be the clip that video is working on. Right. It's, it's a hierarchy thing. So if I wanted to, I could just say, you know what, I want to ignore this track. And then suddenly I can see this one <laughs> when I hide the other one. So what I like about this is that you can sort of make things go away. I find it easy to, so if I wanted to just cut this section, I can do that. I can move stuff around easy. If I wanted to, I wanted to use the audio from this track. I could mute, mute this other one to just not use the sound from it. If there's any sound. Um, so there's my media files which include audio and video stuff I've uploaded. There's some um, transitions I can add to things. Uh, so if I wanted to add a little whatever, um, or I guess text, you know, I can add, there's some royalty free music in here, um, but I can also like upload my own royalty free music if I want to use that. I just find this pretty straightforward to use. That's all. And as you see here, it's automatically, well, it's in tiny writing, but it says all changes are saved in the very lower left-hand corner. So it automatically saves, I believe, every like 20 seconds or something. So, um, and then when I want to export it, I just click finish and I have all of my exports that I've ever done are in here. I can delete them if I want. I think I have, obviously, it's been a few years. So I can like just delete anything that I want over time. Um, and I can also export audio only files, which is handy too. If you're, you know, if you're basically taking a video and saying, oh, I want to make a podcast out of it. That's just the audio file. You can just export the audio and save yourself some work. Now, the final thing I want to say about, you know, so video, like I said, obviously, if you're going shorter in particular, you're going to have to edit it. Um, first of all, it's going to be really hard for you to get exactly a 60 second video, but um the other thing I want to talk about related to video, whether you do a live video or whether you do a pre-recorded slash edited video, um, is you're going to, you know, think about potentially doing ads. So I always use Facebook as an example because it's the format I spend the most time in, but you can also do YouTube ads, um, you know, similarly. But what's interesting is you can actually, um, you know, do a couple of, of interesting things in particular with video ads. First of all, I am in right now what is called Facebook Business Manager. If you have not moved your account to Facebook Business Manager, please do it. Now, if you have somebody you know who manages your Facebook page or something like that, they can still access and do what they need to do to manage your page once you move this to Business Manager. You're just gonna start having access to all the stuff that's back here that I'm showing you right now. So right now I'm in the audiences section and something that I can do is a custom audience based on people who've watched a particular video um, on Facebook or Instagram. So I can take out an ad to people who have watched a video previously. And so, so um, I, I, let's see here. Um, I have a people who've watched, I made a, oh, there we go. So I made a custom audience of people who watched this video that I uploaded, people who watched more than 50% of the video. Um, so if I take out an ad, you know, people who, you know, who I can take out an ad to these people. Um, so first of all, I can make an audience of people who watch a specific video. But the other thing that I can do is I can take out ads in a video format. And if I do Facebook ads in a video format, it's actually less expensive than image based or
I will try to answer both, both on Facebook and Facebook and Google. So, thank you. So pull up my video. Back. Um, but, but you're actually getting some pretty good um, video. Oh, sorry. Point would be if you're going to be based at the place, maybe you can with it. Add the box, we got 8,000 views for the video. It was a short form video. So, um, I don't know. My math might be off, but you get the idea. <laughs> I'm going to go drink my coffee now and learn how to do second grade math. But um, point being is that video, it's engaging. People like watching it. Um, you can make it accessible. You can either record it live or you can pre-record it. Um, it, you know, whatever your comfort level is. And if you do a short video, please edit it slightly so that it's, you know, not painful to watch and will potentially fit, you know, your limiting region here is Instagram. Instagram lets you, so this is Instagram TV. We can record for up to 60 minutes live. But um, if you're going to pre record, it has to be 60 seconds or less. So, Make sure you're thoughtful about your edits there. Um, there are phone apps. So if you prefer to work on your phone, um, there's some good uh, video editing apps, I think, for the phone. I hate working on my phone, so I have not got to know any of them. And finally, if you're willing to spend a little bit of money, um, you can take out some really inexpensive ads, either to people who've watched a specific video you've uploaded or to people who, um, or just people in general, using video as a format. Um, and probably pay a lot less money than people do for other kinds of ads. All right, everyone. I hope that I hope that answered um, Sasha's question about video. She said, "Are you talk about video?" And hopefully, that was uh, general and specific information that is useful <laughs> to know about video. <laughs> All right, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. Have a great rest of your day. And if you were to know, please uh, send it to me. I'd love to watch it. All right. Have a good day.